When the sun of bliss is beaming light and love upon my way. Let us pray. Father, in this early morning hour, may the beams of the sun's rays warm our hearts to your love and protection. May each ray light up our darkness with your continued radiant love on each of our lives in everything we do and see today. From the cross, the radiance streaming adds more luster to the day. Let us pray. And so, Father, may we know a new creation every day through your ever-present care. From the cross, you so gallantly carried to bleed for each of us a demonstration of sacrificial love that today, centuries after, we, don't, we can declare and proclaim in lustrous singing. The hymn in the cross of Christ I glory a Lenten meditation on verse 4 let us pray Lord as we reflect and meditate on the cross and Jesus during this Lenten season open our eyes and our mind to the importance of John 3 16 which says for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life help us O oh God to cleanse ourselves from all unrighteousness and take up our cross and follow you. Help us not to go weary and give up. Help us to bear whatever hardship that will come our way. Help us to be able to stand for you now and forevermore. Amen. The writer of this hymn, In the Cross of Christ I Glory, is John Boring. He is a translator of many foreign languages. John Boring was an advocate for prison reform. John Boring knew the Word of God. His first line in verse 4, which says, Bane and blessing, pain and pleasure brings to mind the parable of the weeds and the wheat, opposite in appearance. Bane speaks of trouble, curse and unhappiness in the cross. 
However, it was for our good that Christ went to the cross. The cross is a blessing from God to us. Whether you are in pain or pleasure, the blood of Christ shed on the cross of Calvary has the power to make everything right. Make us holy in God's sight. As children of God, we are in the world, but not of the world. Pain and blessing, pain and pleasure are part of the world. But as children of God, the peace of God that passes all understanding dwell in us and give us the assurance that God is with us. The power of the cross has no limits, no boundaries. As children of God, the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control must be the hallmark of us, the children of God, in this troubled world, especially in this Lenten season. Let us truly remember the cross and the significance of the cross and what Jesus did on the cross for you and I. Through the grace and mercy of God, we are sanctified, justified by the cross of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen.